there was a time when downloading apps on Android was pure fun. Simple games, useful tools, and endless discovery. But slowly, ads, subscriptions, and region locks ruined the experience. And then came up to down, a small app store promising freedom for users everywhere. But how did it become a savior in a world full of restrictions? Back in the early 2000s, downloading apps wasn't always easy. Google Play and the Apple App Store were restrictive. Regional locks, paid apps, and mandatory updates frustrated users. Other third-party stores promised freedom, but many were cluttered with ads, outdated apps, and confusing interfaces. You could spend more time navigating menus than actually using the app. Users wanted a way to get apps quickly, safely, and without paying unnecessary fees. Founded in 2002, up to down offered exactly that. Free access to thousands of apps, no regional restrictions, older versions available, and a clean interface. Finally, users could explore apps without the headaches of ads, subscriptions, or blocked downloads. For gamers, tech enthusiasts, up to down felt like magic, but this freedom also came with responsibility. Of course, nothing is perfect. Because up to down offered APKS, users had to be cautious. Fake apps and malware occasionally appeared. Unlike the Play Store, up to down couldn't control every upload. Still, for those who understood how to stay safe, the benefits outweighed the risks. In a world where other app stores were either restrictive, expensive, or ad heavy, up to down became a trusted alternative for those willing to explore responsibly. What made up to down stand out? First, it allowed access to APK files directly. This meant you could install older versions of apps or even apps that weren't available in your country. Second, it minimized intrusive ads, offering a smoother experience than other third-party stores. And finally, it gave users control, something that traditional stores rarely allowed. Compare it with the rest. Google Play and Apple App Store. Safe, yes, but restrictive and expensive. Other third-party stores. Free, but messy and risky. Up to down, clean, flexible, and globally accessible. It became the digital savior for Android users worldwide, giving back the control that app stores had taken away. For millions, it felt like discovering a secret treasure chest of apps. Up to Down wasn't just another store, it was a revolution. It didn't ask for permission, it just gave users what they wanted. No paywalls, no locks, no limits. And maybe that's what true innovation looks like.